Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. The average Venezuelan has lost 24 pounds this year. Wow. In other news... On December 22nd of last year, President Trump declared a government shutdown at midnight. This was in response to a divided Congress that was unwilling to provide Trump with funds to build a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. Trump stated that he would not conclude the shutdown until he received funds for his wall, but the democratically controlled House of Representatives have stated that they will not include such an expense in the budget. During a speech from the Oval Office earlier this month, Trump threatened to keep the government shut down for months or even years. Over 800,000 federal employees have been affected by the shutdown, approximately half working without pay and half being furloughed, meaning that they are not working at all. We wanted to understand the severity and implications of the shutdown, so we sat down with an expert. The budget has to be passed every year. Um, Congress passes the budget, uh, but Congress just passes the, the amount of spending. Uh, the president uh, actually gets to spend the money. And so a conflict came about how much money to give to the president because the president wants to use it on a border wall. Um, and Nancy Pelosi, the new Speaker of the House, and the Democratic Party saw this as a time to kind of draw a line in the sand, if you will. Um, and, and so the budget wasn't passed to keep money going to a border wall. Uh, Trump wouldn't approve a budget without a border wall. And so the two sides came to an impasse. And the issue of immigration uh, got mixed into the issue of funding the U.S. government. And so and, and, and it, it became a, a political stalemate over who would, who would kind of break first. Thousands of people lost their jobs uh, over kind of the issue of immigration, which didn't come to head in a political election year. So it came to head over the budget. The budget isn't controlled by either party. Uh, Congress has to approve spending. They have to approve uh, everything has to do with money, um, but the president gets to spend it. Um, and so the two sides actually do have to work together here. In a way, it's, it's a little like an allowance. And so you can't spend an allowance until you have it. So it's like an allowance in, in check format. And so once you get a check, you can't spend it on anything. You can only spend the check on, on what you're given the check for. And so Trump wants part of the budget to be moved to the border wall, but Congress has to okay that. So Congress can't just write any budget they want because the president won't spend it but the president can't just take the money he's given and spend it on anything he wants. And so this is where it's kind of brilliant because it really controls spending very specifically and hopefully that's a check and a balance uh, in times like this. And we've had a couple of these shutdowns in the last decade or so. It can become political infighting when Congress and the president are so decidedly against each other on, on policies and, and immigration was this year's policy. We wanted to understand this shutdown as it affects the people. So we sat down with a furloughed federal employee. The government shutdown was a huge negative impact on my life. Um, because of the amount of money that I had to pay out of my savings, I'm going to have to skip a semester of college. On top of that, uh, I've had to leave my job. So I'm, as of the 11th, I'm no longer contracting to the government. That's a tough change because I love the folks I work with, but if you can't trust you're going to get a paycheck, it's really kind of a hard life story to say that. So I had to collect unemployment and uh, legally in mass, you collect unemployment. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all at the Smith College Indoor Track for Senior Night tonight. I'm Amelia Tamayo, and this has been In Other News. Bye!